Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we've got a quick and simple video to show you how to install the macOS Big Sur public beta. Apple just released it today and we're going to go ahead and install it. If you haven't seen my iOS 14 install, you can click the link in the top right there if you want to try it out. But today, all you have to do to install the Big Sur public beta is head to the base software program. I've left a link in the description down below. So you can see here a guide for public betas and it tells you all the information you need to know. Most important thing is to make sure you back up your Mac or at the very least have the files that you need either stored on an external drive or in the cloud so that if anything goes wrong you still have them. So all you need to do is head to enroll your device in the top here, click that and then you'll see it says to back up your Mac first of all and then you'll see here enroll your Mac download macOS public beta access utility. So we'll click that, then go down to our downloads folder, open it up and give it a second. And then click that to open it up. And you can see there, I do have a time machine backup, but it's uh, a bit confused. So we'll hit okay there, hit continue. You'll have to agree to the license agreement and then click install and then either type in your password or touch ID, whatever you have. And then it should go ahead and find the update. You can see there, are you sure you want to download macOS Big Sur public beta 11.0? Yes, we'll download. And you can see it's starting to download 12.3 gigs. So depending on your internet, it may take a while, you can see about three hours for me on some slow internet. So we'll have to come back in three hours once it's done. Okay, so once it's downloaded, all you need to do is hit upgrade now. It should pop up with this, but if it doesn't do that, then we can see it's launched into the installation. So we'll go ahead, hit continue, hit agree and hit agree there. And then you'll see it also automatically selects this drive. So we'll go ahead continue and then I'm going to go ahead and accept that and then you've got about 14 minutes it says to wait so we'll come back once that's done okay so after about 30 minutes of installing it launched back up into the desktop straight away no further setup needed and you can see the new UI design of Mac OS Big Sur so you can see the nice new wallpaper uh, again, there is a public beta, so bear in mind, things might not work. You can see up here, one of the apps isn't aligned correctly, so minor issue there. But again, if you're using this as your main device, you may not want to install this in case there's an app or a piece of software that doesn't work correctly. You can see up here in the top right, we have this reallocated items folder, and you can see what it is. It's basically apps or files that don't fit into a location and they've been put in there so don't know quite what that is but there's something to bear in mind and you can see here the whole new UI and if you go into system preferences you can see that battery icon that everyone complained about has been changed but you can see totally new design so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or issues do post a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you're new to the channel hit subscribe over there if you found it useful or enjoyable, please hit the like button down below. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see that iOS 14 video, there's a link in the top right there as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.